Hello everybody. This is Proud Grandma. Coming from Zone 8A in Birmingham, Alabama. I'm out today assessing the property after the tropical rain we had. And uh, I'd just like to take you all around with me. I'm assessing the property, seeing what's happening out here with everything. And I pray that you all survived and uh, you didn't have any damage on your gardens or in your property. And I'm just out here looking. I see some surprises already. I've just started. I see zinnias. <laughs> They're finally uh, popping out. I see zinnias. And this is a little patch over here that I haven't done much with because I've been fighting the grass so heavily. Even down here on my lawn, look, I've got zinnias growing up on the grass. Look at that, they're just popping up. Look at here. Those are zinnias. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Popping up. Okay, and I have some beans over here. They are string beans, pole beans. And they're not, they're not doing too much. Uh, more zinnias, the zinnias are. They seem to be small than they normally are. Usually I have some nice sized zinnias. You know, the petals are large. So I think that the weather is having an impact on our plants this year. But I thank God for it being as well as it is, okay? So we're going to move off from over here and just take a look around. I'm also watching out here in this grass while I walk. And there's always a lot to do. The rose bushes took a beating, but I see a few petals. I see a few petals on them. Mm -hmm. I see a few petals. And uh, more coming. Yeah. Yeah. Took a beating though, I can tell that. Okay. Let's continue to this side. Okay, I'm going to go over here and look, see what's going on. There are the peach trees. Did I pass them already? There are the peach trees. I want to tell y'all something. I'm out here doing this. Six years ago, I could not have been doing this. I went blind. Mm -hmm. And it was from diabetes. Yeah. We have to take care of ourselves, y'all, which is part of the reason I'm out here now planting my own food. I'm becoming more health conscious uh, in many ways about myself. And um, I, um, I believe that food is the key to good health. The way we eat what we eat, I believe that is the biggest key to um, good health. Is it hard to do? Sometimes. Yeah, because see, sometimes it's easier to go and grab, uh, these are peach trees you're looking at. I have two peach trees, and these are them, and they're just going on up and up. Uh... I do have a couple of peaches on them, but this is their first year, y'all, with me. Okay. I do believe that uh, if we're food conscious and we eat healthy food, it will make our bodies healthy. Now, there are some other components involved in getting a healthy body, and I'm still working on that. Like herbs, the herbs we're using 
how we use them. I'm still interested in that. This is an apple tree you're looking at. I planted that early spring this year. It was early. It was. I think I planted this tree in February. Yeah. There's a rose bush over there by the window that I pruned. I pruned it this 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 spring. It was uh, up past the roof, and it ne needed pruning years ago. And uh, I didn't have the mind to do it. And I really didn't uh, want to be bothered with it. But since then, since the Lord has restored my sight through the doctors and him, through healings, I'm out here now, and I'm loving every minute of it. I'm enjoying it. And I pray that you're doing the same. Your story may be a little different from mine, but I think all of us experience a lot of the same things, just different scenarios. Okay, let's walk over here. This is the side of the homestead that I have my compost bin my compost bin and uh, some other things. Well, this is uh, another apple tree. It's an apple tree. We're getting ready to put more mulch around the bottom and to, to protect it from um, the grass getting cut when the grass gets cut. But this is what this is. Uh-huh. It's an apple. Yeah, it's an apple. I can't read what kind it is right now. I don't have my glasses on. I, when I read, I have to have glasses on. Yeah. And I have to uh, be careful because my sight isn't 2020. It's not like yours. It's not 2020. But I thank God for what I am able to do. As you all see, I live alone. I'm doing for myself. This is where I live. I thank God for it. This is my property. And uh, I try to maintain it. Is it easy? Oh. No. <laughs> but I believe with his help and strength, I can do it. So because I believe that, and my body says, okay, get up and move, I do. Uh, these are seeds. These are seeds from my collard greens. It's time for me to bring them in. So I am cutting seeds down. I've already dismantled one bed. i show you where I dismantled it at. But right over here, Right over here is my compost bin in that corner back there of the yard. That's compost area. It needs work. Uh, but when I have stuff that needs to be composted or can be composted, I take it and I throw it over there. And God blessed me with, uh, I call him a God child. Because he comes when he can. And that's not too often, but when he can, he comes and he can the uh, Look at JJ. What is JJ doing? What is he doing? Hmm. I don't know. That's my dog, JJ. He's out here with me. He's doing what he do. Okay, but um, I ran into a bunch of nets or something. But these are weeds that's growing up like trees. In, in the bed that I'm letting go to seed for my collard green seeds. I deal with those two. Okay. As you can see, there's always work to do. Now, we're planning to mulch all of this area where you see the black ground cover, weed barrier. We're going to mulch it so that I don't have to come out here and fight all those weeds and trying to get to the beds. This bed has got to be remade. It's been all but torn down. I haven't put anything in it yet. Uh, I've been kind of working on some other things and waiting to see what's happening in this bed and what I'm going to do with it. Okay. 
We're going on over. This is an onion that just grew up outside of the box. And it's giving me onion seeds. I've already cut a lot of onion seeds off. That's what they look like. This is what an onion seed looks like. And when it gets to the point where you can see the little um, black specks in the middle of those little pods, and they're ready to harvest. They're ready to see. If you can see a black speck in, in one, every one of these have a seed in it, then it's time to harvest the seeds. Okay, here's another box I have out here. It's a four by four box. I This one was put out here last year. And all of this is a work in progress. My goal is to have my homestead where I can come out here any season of the year and get something to eat. That's my goal. Something from the garden. You know, something from the garden. This is another box next to this box. Well, let me look right here, y'all. I, I see something growing. Oh, that's the church up the corner. They're getting ready to have service. So our neighborhood gets a lot of good prayer and service. Hey. Look at this squash plant. Look at that. Look at there. Do you see that? <laughs> I need to prop it up. It's running on the ground growing squash. Okay, y'all see that squash? Let me get over here. Look at this. Look at there. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get it while I'm over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny looking in it, but it'll eat. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the next box. See what, what's going on over here. And the reason I don't have a lot planted over here in this area is because it's covered by trees, shady trees. But I have found out that some plants love partial shade. And they would do well in this area. So that's what I'm working on for this area. Now, I put some squash plants, some uh, zucchini plants over here. This is another four by four box. That's what it is. I need to weed it again. I need to weed it. I'm looking to see if I see any squash. Not yet. I don't think so. And what is that? A leaf? Oh yeah, that's a leaf. I do see a few uh, buds, blooms. All right, y'all, let's move on. It looks like nothing much has been moved over here. I don't know why. We didn't have a lot of strong winds. I don't know why that's laying there like that. Okay. That's a log. Ready? Okay, now we're going to go over hmm, to the tunnel area. Take a look and see what it's looking like over in there. On my way to the tunnel area, let me show y'all. I laid this down here. The rain caught it out. It caught it. So I'm hoping that I still have some seeds to collect from it. That's a leak. This is a leak. It's a leak. And I do love leaks. I love leaks. I love them. I love them. I'm getting ready to make this bed. I put the cardboard down to uh, as a barrier against the weeds. I've been wetting it down. The rain soaked it real good. So now it's about ready for the soil to be put on. Okay. How did my tag come off? Y'all see my tag laying on the ground? How did it come off the tree? Hmm. 
Y'all, let me show y'all. This tree is suffering from something. I don't know what. But I'm hoping somebody out there in the garden community that knows what's going on with this parakeet can tell me. Now. Oh. Oh, no. Let me see. Move. I have a pear that's growing on this tree. Here it is. Look. As sick as this tree. Look, let me back up so y'all can see this tree. Y'all see that? I don't know what's going on with it. If anybody knows, please let me know. It's like it's dying in part of it. And look at that pear. One. One large pear. And then there's another one through there that's coming. And so far, that's all I see. This is a one-year pear, one year, one year old, here. I bought it last spring and I planted. Okay, I don't know what's happening, y'all. Look at here, it is laying down. This is a part of this pear tree. What happened? Can y'all see that? Okay, let's move on. Here is one of the persimmon trees. It has persimmons on it, or it had them. I'm gonna see if I can locate. Let's go inside. Look at that cana and that pretty. Those are blossoms are gorgeous. I enjoy that music, y'all. So if I get to shouting a little bit, y'all, excuse me, all right? Because <laughs> I, lo <laughs> I love the Lord, and it's just in me. Oh, yeah. What's the matter here? Okay, let's go back over here and look at this persimmon tree and then we'll move around. Well, I lost the blossom. See that blossom? We lost the blossom in the store. Okay. Okay, and look at it. Look at it. Oh, what's you wrong? It's okay. You'll survive. Yeah. Okay, let's look at this tree over here. Cause there are some persimmons that were. Let's see if we can spot some. Oh wow. Mm. Okay, there's one. Y'all see it? There's one right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know they hide. Uh. You guys may spot another one before I do. So far. There were about four or five of them on here uh, well, two weeks ago. So I don't know. I gotta weed that out and put some more mulch around. Okay, let's go on a little further. We're assessing everything. Uh, waterlogged, waterlogged. I gotta pour that water off. Strawberries. Look at the strawberry. I'm gonna go on and get this one and eat it while I'm out here, y'all. Hold on. Got that one. see okay I see a lot of weeds are springing up these are potatoes that have got to be harvested I've harvested some out of there I've got more to pull out it's good and ready here's another persimmon tree inside the tongue 
and I, it has one persimmon on it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't understand it, but I'm glad for it. I love seeing it. I'm watching it. There it is right there. Mm -hmm. It's growing too. So what's going on right here? The tomato plant, oh, look how large it's gotten in the last two days. It's actually grabbing a hold to the persimmon tree. This tomato plant was not this tall two days ago. I'm glad I had it stuck, supported. These are herbs going to see. I want to catch some of the seeds because this is mint and it's gorgeous, beautiful. Onions, doing okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> A garden does take work, y'all. It takes work to maintain. This is another patch, beans. I've got a cantaloupe here that's starting to run. I don't see anything on it yet. It has blossoms. So we'll see what it does. It's running in all directions. Okay. This is one of my squash plants. I see blossoms on it. It needs a uh, I need to pull the dead leaves from under there. The beans are running along the fence. I've been waiting for it to give me beans. I planted these a few weeks ago. This is a pepper plant. I don't know what it's doing, y'all. Looks like it's kind of suffering a little bit. I gotta get the weeds out before they overtake it. Mm -hmm. Come out here and work. Okay, I see blossoms on the beans. You see the blossoms, that mean beans are coming. Let's move on down. Here's another squash. Oh, amen. Ah. Yes. Here's another squash plant. It has blossoms. We're going to see what it does. You know, I, uh, I enjoy gardening. I enjoy getting harvest. I enjoy being blessed. Amen of God. Now, what I'm thinking about this, these uh, cantaloupes, I want them to grow out, out of that bed and just sprawl along the, um, the uh, weed barrier. Do y'all think that's a good idea to do? Let me know. All right, we're gonna keep going. Here's one of my great vines that was planted last year. Look at there, the grapes are still there, y'all. They're still in there. I use my hand to help show me what I'm trying to show you guys. Okay. This grapevine is doing pretty good. I'm going to the other side of it now. Here's some more grapes. Y'all see those? See? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't let me get in an ant bed, Lord. See, things like that, sometimes I find out about them when I step in them because of my eyes. So, look at there. More grapes. Y'all, I hope they're gonna mature and they'll taste okay. Y'all think they're about ready to eat? Not yet, huh? Okay. Now I have another one across the arch here. This is the arch. I let them, I want them to meet up. This one over here is being, it's going the way it wants to go that way. Now this one over here, it is climbing the arch. 
He's climbing it slowly but surely. But there are no grapes. And what is doing, what is doing this damage? I guess I need to get some mean oil or something to find out what's actually doing this. Okay. I've got more roses over here. Okay, let's go on inside. Mm. Mm. Okay, potatoes. Sweet potato plants. Sweet potato plants. I'm on this side of the tunnel. I'm on this side of the tunnel. Um, we're gonna walk through there, but while we're out here, let's go ahead and look at this area. This is, uh, what do I call these, y'all? This is my um, blueberry lane. Blueberry lane. I have let me stand over here. You see that bit? I thought that was an ant bit, but it's not. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Yes, sir. Okay, this is, look at there. Isn't that beautiful? This is what I call my blueberry lane. I got these blueberries. I got five of them of $7 each. After lead farmer told us to get to Lowe's quick. They got them on sale. Get them. I did exactly what he said. And I end up with that one. I need to check and see if they have any any berries on them. Mm -hmm. hey, they're looking good though, aren't they, y'all? They look healthy. They look healthy. That's one, two, three, Okay, let's see this one. It don't look like it was beat up too bad. Uh, I see where some berries were trying to start, but I'm gonna give it time. It's got to adjust. And growing food does take time. We have to be patient. I see some branches that are falling from the tree. Yeah, so I have to get those collected up and put them on the compost bin. Here's another one. Let's see if it has anything on it. I don't see anything, but I do see where it's shedding some leaves. Uh-huh, so I'm gonna feed them. I've got some all, some special fertilizer. It's 11 15 11. Someone bought it for me, donated it to me. And I'm going to try it on them. And fish. I use fish emulsion. I use fish fertilizer. Okay, because uh, these are going to have to be nurtured. That's why I got them for that price. But y'all see what they are and what they were regularly. I got them for $7. And I thank God for every one of them. Okay, so I'm hoping that when they start yielding I get enough harvest uh, to make me a, a blueberry pie blueberry pie yeah I love stuff like that okay here's my pecan tree yeah it's my pecan tree Whew. last year it yielded a lot of very small pecans very small they were so small I didn't fool with picking them up really and trying to uh, eat them, they were, they were little, they were about, about that big around, about that big around. Okay, here's a fig tree. It's growing. We're going to see what's happening with it. Let's walk a little closer. This is a fig tree. This is the extent of it right here. Okay, it has figs. It had figs. Let's see if it still have them. Okay, let's see. I pray so, guys, because I really look forward. 
I see a pig there. I see some pigs through there. Y'all see them? Oh, glory. Thank you, Papa. Look at there. They in there. They're still there. But they're small. See them? I need to know. Uh, last year, they got a little bit bigger than that, but they didn't. They didn't mature. They didn't mature. Uh, I don't know why. If you guys know, please let me know. Here's some more. They're everywhere. Yeah. They're all through here. See there? They're all through here. Oh, look. They're all through here. So I need to know what to do with the pig tree to uh, mature get my pigs mature to the point where I can harvest them and eat them. Now there's a tree that has grown up right behind it. Maybe it needs to come down. I, I would love to know, um, and yes, I'm out here, I'm trying. I need help too, I need help. I need, I need to know what you're doing, what you think, what works for you. Help me, I don't mind. Look at there, look at that cluster. Oh, glory. <laughs> yes, sir. Look at the pigs, y'all. Well, yes, sir. That's the preacher, y'all. He's getting ready to get started. See, I come out here in my yard. I have church. Oh, in nature, with nature, and the Lord, under his blue sky. Oh, yes, I do. Look at those. Look, just look. Pigs everywhere. Oh, you look so beautiful. Look at you. You're just gorgeous. You're showing out this year. You're showing out. Hallelujah. I got prayer on it. Uh-huh. Look at there. Look at there. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Hallelujah. <laughs> but then you got all these other things growing up around it and in it. So we try to keep them cut down, but they grow faster than the uh, fruit trees. Okay, let's move on around. This is a seating place that I've been working on getting. We're going to expand this. I've got the uh, pavers. We're going to expand it. And I made benches. I got this idea from um, from Grow Family Network. Grow Family Network. Isn't that cute? Look. Look at those benches. He was doing a video one day, y'all. Let me just sit down right here a minute. He was doing a video one day. And I was watching. Ah, these are some herbs. I was watching it. And while he was talking, I was looking around. You know how we do, y'all. While the person is talking, we are looking around to see what we can see and what they're doing and how they're doing it. So I was looking. And I said, what is that he's sitting on? What is that he's sitting on? I said, oh, my God. That's an answer. I've got timber logs. I have timber logs. And I have concrete blocks. I can do that. So I did. And I painted them, y'all. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. And so this is one part of uh, my homestead. You're looking straight ahead at another fig. That fig tree you see right there. It's Frank the Pig. It's a Chicago fig. I bought it last year and I planted it in a pot. It didn't do too well in the pot, even though it grew a little bit. But this spring, early spring, back in March, I put it in the ground. I chose that spot because it's open. It's in the open where the sun can get to it full time. Y'all, this thing has just taken off. And let me show you the figs that are on it. Okay, so now look, these are my herbs while I'm over here fixing to get ready to go from over here. And I just love this spy. These are my herbs. I've got uh, uh, spearmint, more peppermint. I've got, um, this is another blueberry bush. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it in the pot because I'm going to eventually take it inside the tongue. I'm gonna take it inside the tone and see how well it does in there. This is pineapple sage. Uh, this is a mint. Okay. JJ, I like it that you're hanging around me. Come on. 
Come on, let's go over here and look at Prank the Pig. Hey, Jay. Jay, Jay, come on, go with me. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Look at it. Look at my baby. Yeah, look at JJ. That's Nan's boy. Yes, he is, too. What you after? Look at, uh, let's tell you, some pigs over here now, y'all. Y'all help me find them. I know I saw them the other day. See that? See? I put my hand under there so I can kind of find my hand and I can show them to you. But Frank is putting on pigs this year. Look at there. And they're bigger. Did y'all notice something? Do it look like they're bigger than the ones over there on the big fig tree? See? There's a difference here. It may be that that tree is in too much shade. Because Look again, these look bigger or larger. These look larger than the ones over there. Yeah, and the tree is not that large at all. All right, y'all, let's walk through the turn. I'm getting, a, I'm getting a little tired, but let me show you this. Just like the New Orleans gardeners say, and I love Miss Linda too. Yeah, we have to get out early in the morning, do what we're going to do, check them out, assess our plants, see what they need, water them. Well, they got a drenching, so they don't need watering this morning. They got a drenching yesterday. Okay, uh, let's see. This is okra. This is my okra patch this year. This is my little okra. I got some marigolds planted down there. I smell those. I got marigolds. It's amazing at how you can smell these leaves even before they put on flowers. Have y'all ever noticed that? Yeah. This is my okra. This is my okra. And I'm believing God to, to let it come on up and yield. <clears throat> because I love okra. That's a banana plant. That's a banana plant. I don't I don't put a lot of hope in my banana plants because of my area I live in. I'm not gonna put a lot of time into nurturing a banana plant, but I love the way they look and the way they, uh, the aesthetics they add to the yard. Okay, we're gonna walk this way. There's another pineapple. It's sitting there, it's looking okay. Okay, let's get ready to go through the tunnel. This is an alocasia. This is one of my prides and joys. But lately, it's been doing some things on me. You see how small the leaves are? I don't know what that's a sign of, but I'm gonna have to look it up. Uh, let's go in the tongue. Come on, JJ. <laughs> look what we see first. Sprawled all out in the aisle. Hallelujah, those bl blue lake green beans. Oh, look. Look at what I see. I see tomatoes that are about ready to pick. Oh, look at these tomatoes. Let me show you. Y'all see that? See that cluster? Y'all see them? It's a cluster of them, yeah. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they beautiful? See, they grow in clusters. They're about ready to pick. Let me go ahead and get this one. See? These are Roma, Roma tomatoes. They're not getting that big, but they are delicious and beautiful. So I'm going to go and take these two in also. Okay, why am I doing that? Because I don't, I would rather get them before anything else gets them. Okay, I put them in my window seal in my kitchen and I let them go ahead and finish maturing and they are delicious. Okay, let's see if we got any beans need picking today. I don't see any. Now these have yielded green beans for me three times. 
I've gotten about three gallons. And I heard somebody say, well, this isn't developed yet. See? See that? They need to go some more. Uh, a couple of more days, maybe I'll have enough to pick a mess from, pick a mess of them. Um, I heard somebody say on the garden, in the garden community, that they'll only give you about three or four or maybe five uh, harvests of green beans before they die. And that if you want more, you need to start planting them. These are my herbs, y'all. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, what is this? Going to seed. I'm trying to think of what that is. I think it's uh, parsley. Going to seed. Laying over here on this tomato plant that has tomatoes. Yeah, so I'm going to have to move that. Herbs are so easy to grow. I don't worry if I have to pull them out, I pull them out. Here's some more tomatoes all over here. Look, you see them? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Y'all see, see those tomatoes? This is a sunflower growing. <laughs> it's a sunflower. I had to look up for a minute. It scared me. Okay, this is, uh, you're looking good. You're looking good, baby. It's lavender. Okay, the pepper plants. These are green pepper plants. I planted about four weeks ago. I planted two of them, so I'm expecting a harvest. But everything in here looks okay, y'all. It looks like it's been watered real good. And the way I really know is by sticking my finger down in, see that? Oh yeah, we got a good ring, good ring. Yeah. These are pepper plants that have been giving me peppers. This is a potato, a, a tomato I sit here that I got out from over here because look at that hole. I don't know what caused it, but uh, I'm watching. I've got carrots growing that I seeded uh, a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Carrots growing. Uh, these are pepper plants. And I've been having people come and get peppers and peppers and peppers. And here come more peppers, yeah. Yeah, they're gonna look at there. They get yielding more peppers. Yeah. So it looks like everything is going okay. More carrots. More carrots. This is another mint. This is another pepper plant. Mm -hmm. okay. Peppers. Peppers are coming. See. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, I've got a couple of new tomato plants. <laughs> Excuse me. I plant these. They were about this tall three weeks ago. Now look at them. They're coming on up, and they're going to yield better tomatoes. I even have a tiny one right there that's coming up. Yeah, I coming up too, man. I coming up. Don't count me out. I won't. I won't count you out, you pretty little thing. You, you look good. I need to grab that weed right there. No, you see that weed? Mm-hmm. I go in and grab it. Throw it on out. I'm letting this green leaf lettuce go to seed so I can get more seeds. I don't want to have to buy any more. There's some other ones I'm letting go to seed. I think I need to take those from under there. Here's a sweet potato. I had it left over, and I just threw it in this to see what it's going to do. Okay, y'all, so this is a look at the tunnel and what's happening in it right now. Uh, let me go to the other side and show y'all what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm letting more of those go to seed. See, I'm letting that go to seed. Those are lettuces. My uh, butter lettuce and all that, I'm letting it go to seed so I can get more seeds. 
Here's a blackberry bush. I've got two out there. Let me show you guys. But they're looking good. This one is really growing. And the one through there is growing too. You can see it through there if you look. Those I planted last year. These I planted this year. And look at that. Look at the uh, blueberries. I got one off of here the other day. And it was delicious. These aren't ready. Okay, here's another one. Let me come around here. Here's another blueberry. Mm-hmm. It looks healthy and pretty. A blueberry. I don't know what kind it is. I don't have my glasses on. Maybe y'all can make it out. Maybe you can make it out. I got them for $6. Six dollars. They had a sale. Lowe's from Lowe's. I got all of this from Lowe's. They had a sale on. They call it a clearance sale. So if you haven't already gotten you some things, go looking. You, you, you'd be surprised at what you may find. That's a strawberry. This is a tomato plant on this side. I have a lot of tomato plants spread it out. Uh, it's growing tall. But I don't see anything coming on it. So I've got to investigate that. Okay, let's go through here. Something has happened. I used, I'm supposed to be able to get through here. Something. Yeah, something has been moved. Let me go around. Let's go over here. I have another bench in here. I use them in here for the same reason. To sit, to sit um, containers on. Yeah. I love that idea. But, uh, I need to clean this up. Yeah, I need to clean it up. Look at there. Oh, my. No, 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 no. How did that get turned over there? See, it's almost as if something has been out here. Okay. Uh, another blueberry bush, tomato bush. With, look, the tomatoes are bigger than the bush. And that's something. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. And here are two plants I've got to put in the ground. They got a good watering. They're growing everywhere. In the pot. Big. Look. <laughs> This vine has run, oh my God, look, this vine has run all the way over there from the pot, from this pot. Yeah, there's some thyme, rosemary. There's a, it looks like a squash or a cucumber plant over there trying to live. It was puny, didn't look like it was gonna do too good, but it's trying. There go JJ, y'all. There go JJ. Okay, okay, I see some stuff happening here. What is that? That's a wasp. I'm going to take this off. This is a broccoli plant. And I hope it does it. I hope it makes me some broccoli. These are beans up under here. I planted after I planted the blue flakes. Uh-oh, I see some tomatoes over there, y'all. I see a red tomato. Can y'all see it? Mm -hmm. I got it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now this is the size of Roma usually gets. That's another Roma tomato. Yeah. And there's some more of them over there. A lot of them. Yep. So we'll be getting those. These are broccoli plants. These are broccoli plants. I don't know what they're going to do. But uh. If you have any tips, let me know. These are string beans, y'all. I don't, I just haven't gotten anything from my string beans yet. But a funny color. But I'm going to watch them and I'm going to still water them. These are collard plants. I'm letting go to seeds. These are collard trees. They're called collard trees. A friend gave me about four little bitty ones that she had germinated and was growing. And this is what I'm getting. 
Now, I took the seeds off of this one this past week. So I've got, I'm letting them dry out, finish drying out, so I can get seeds to plant more of those in the fall. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna plant them in the fall because they grow better. You don't have all the pests and the, the heat and all that stuff they have to fight. This is my eggplant. Look at there. There's an eggplant. Y'all see it? Okay, I need somewhere to put all this stuff. I got a strawberry in my hand and four tomatoes. I'm going to sit them right here for a minute. <coughs> see, those will make a nice salad. And they make a nice snack. Just like your strawberries getting ready to make a nice snack. I'm going to eat it now, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat it. Mm -hmm. Um, mm, 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 mm. Look there. Gets juicy. Oh, my goodness. Um, that was good. It makes you want another one, you know. But uh, let's see what's happening right here. Mm. Can y'all see it? See? See? Eggplant. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let it hang out here just a little while longer. Hoping that it'll get a little fuller. They don't grow, these kind don't grow as big as the ones I'm used to planting. I have another eggplant over here that's kind of covered in here by the beans. Where's that eggplant at? Here it is. See, the beans are going to die out soon, but that eggplant is going to keep going and giving me eggplants. Y'all see that one right there? See that? That's a nice size eggplant. I need to go on and get it. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Let me get my scissors. Hold on. I've got them right here in my pocket, y'all. Just hold on. This is an eggplant. Uh -huh. And this happened since uh, over the last three days. It was something small. Okay, I cut it. I cut it with uh, my scissors. I keep a little pair of scissors in my pocket. Uh -huh. For stuff like that. But I have collected an eggplant. I've collected tomatoes. I collected a strawberry today. See, I can come out here and eat. Uh, now we have one more place to look. And I'm kind of giving y'all the whole garden tour today. I've never done that before. At one time. So I'm going to pick these up and take them with me. I don't want nothing else to creep out here and get them. Because I've been eating tomatoes from out here, y'all, every day now for about two weeks. I put them in the window and let them get a little bit more ripe. And I enjoy them in salads. I enjoy them, um, oh my God, on ham sandwiches. Yeah, I love that. I'm still old-fashioned. I enjoy them. Just with vinegar and a little salt and pepper. Yeah. Come on, Jay. We're going this way. Come on, baby. Okay, these are the blueberry plants I was showing you guys. That are doing well. They're growing. They yielded blueberries last year. They sure did. And they were delicious. Just wasn't enough of them to do anything with. That's why I went. Look at there, y'all. Oh, those, those going in the compost bin because I left them out here. And it rained, and rained, and rained, and I forgot about it. When I came back out, the sun had scorched them, scorched them. The sun had scorched them, had almost cooked them. When I touched them, they were like they had been blanched. Yeah. From the rain and the uh, sun that hit them, hit them hard. 
Okay, so we are headed into this part of the garden. We still putting down mulch to get rid of grass. But y'all, I gotta work on this baby right here. Look at this, this don't even make sense. I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. I had never seen a tomato plant grow like that, so I'm gonna have to weed it out, and it's got a lot of little tomatoes on it, a lot of little tomatoes. I don't know, it's some kind of tomato I planted. I, see them, see them? I think that's the way they grow. And most people put them up on a trellis or something. I didn't know. This is my first time growing these kind of tomatoes. There's some sweet potatoes, a sweet potato bag. They're growing fine. So, uh, I don't know what I should do. Again, I'm open for suggestions. Feel free to comment. Okay, uh, most of these are grow bags. Everything in here is growing in a grow bag. Onions, flowers, zinnias, sunflowers, melons. These are watermelons. Uh, the big ones, the big red ones. I've got two in here. I've got two plants. Now, I've seen... Um, I don't see a melon yet, but I have seen blossoms. Uh -huh, I've seen blossoms. And you see how that thing is growing? It's just going on around. I'm going to let it run its course. It has all that space over there to run. These are beans, more beans. I wanted more beans this year. So I'm expecting to, let me see if I need to come out here and harvest some beans. Hold on. Well, what's wrong? That's my neighbor's dog. What's wrong with him, Jay? What's wrong with him? Look, let's see. Y'all see any beans? I don't see any yet. Still don't see any beans. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, here's another. This is a potato plant that's ready to harvest. See, they're ready to harvest. They're laying over. See how they look when they're ready? They're ready to harvest. They're ready to harvest. All I got to do is go down in there and get them, y'all. I need to do that this week so I can reuse my bags for something else. I have three bags of potatoes over here. Three grow bags. Okay, here are the green beans already. Look, I see green beans. See there? See? Thank you, Lord. I just give thanks because it's nothing I'm doing, I don't think. I think, yeah, I plant the seeds and I water, but He gives the increase. That's what the Bible says. God gives the increase. Y'all see them beans? See? Can you see them? I don't know. I'm gonna go on and grab those while I see them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I may have missed them from uh, a couple of days ago. I don't see any more. Okay, I have some in the kitchen sink right now that I've got to clean, cut, and bag up for the freezer. Okay, let's check this tomato plant out. One tomato plant. Yeah, I've got them everywhere, don't I? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. I'm going to let them get a little bigger. Yeah. Yeah, let them get a little bigger. Clusters. And they're doing fine in this grow bag. This is a grow bag. It's a grow bag. A hundred gallon grow bag is growing all of this. Producing all of this. Well, I'm going to have to uh, get me a walking through path because <laughs> everything's meeting each other. This is the melons. They're growing. They're stretching. 
Look at the melon. Look at it. Look at the melon. I, I'm looking at it. I'm watching it to see how it's doing. Do y'all think it's a good idea to let it roll on the ground, run on the, across the ground on this grow cover? Oh, look at there. There's another batch. These grow. These seem to grow in threes. <laughs> That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Some more. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm ready to go in. It's been an adventure. And uh, the sun is coming out now, full force. But before I go in, I'm gonna walk over here and look at my pinto beans. These are pinto beans. I don't a bag in my kitchen. I don't know how well they're doing. They don't look like they're doing too good to me. But we'll see. And if they don't work this time, I try them again. What happened here? I don't know what happened. I'll find out. Right now, it's time for me to get out of the sun. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my garden tour. I hope you uh, maybe picked up a tip or can drop me off some tips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What things I can do to make it better. Because my goal is to be able to be sustained food-wise. Okay, that's my goal. I'm not here to uh, get a beautification of water or anything like that. Or to, uh, I'm here to survive. I'm doing this to survive. Okay. This is just the second year. And, uh, excuse me. May God bless you guys. Keep you is my prayer. And may your efforts bring you abundance. In the name of Jesus. All right, guys. Oh, I'm tired. I, um, come on, JJ, let's go in. I've got onions growing over there in that sink. Y'all see, there's a sink right there. I've got onions growing, and I've also harvested some onion seeds from there. This was that place that I removed that bed. This used to be a bed there. I removed it, giving the apple tree ah, space to grow. That's my water barrel over there in that corner. That garbage can with the lid on it, that's my water barrel. All right, y'all, everybody. I'm over and out. <laughs> I'm beat. Love you guys. See you later. Bye-bye.